Stanford University. Right now, we have wastewater treatment systems put in place around the country and actually around the developed world, basically about 40 years old. We're there, we're at the design life of these plants. Today we need to rebuild all of that, overhaul it all, and we're facing a set of completely different constraints. We now are worried about water scarcity, we're worried about energy. The question is whether we will rebuild them using the same technology that has been used essentially throughout the 20th century, or whether we will innovate and try some new things, like this system that we're testing at the Kodiga Center. Well, this is a revolutionary new process to um, better meet the sustainable needs of the future. Traditionally, we use energy to supply oxygen for wastewater treatment. And that's the drawback. That takes a lot of energy. We now have a new technology that hasn't properly been tested at the large enough scale and needs to be scaled up. It's an anaerobic technology, so no oxygen needed. Very little biomass is produced through this technology compared to the aerobic system. And we end up recovering methane. And now the methane that comes out of this can be itself burned and used for energy production. It could make a wastewater treatment plant go from being a huge energy consumer. A wastewater treatment plant is often one of the biggest energy consumers in a city to being a green power plant. And working with collaborators at Silicon Valley Clean Water, that's the utility that provides clean water from wastewater at Redwood City. And we created a proposal that was then submitted and ultimately funded by the California Energy Commission. This allows us to then scale up the system we have here at the Kodiga Center and make an even larger version, and it will be the largest in the world when it's completed. We're at the Silicon Valley Clean Water Wastewater Treatment Facility in the end of Redwood Shores, right on the San Francisco Bay, uh, south of San Mateo Bridge. And right here is our um, site for the Stanford um, Safe MBR project. The Kodiga system, we're operating at a scale of maybe 10,000 gallons per day. When we move to uh, Redwood City, we'll be going at a double that scale. So about 20,000 gallons per day is what we'll be treating. And we'll also be using a slightly different technology and a system that is better adapted to current wastewater treatment practices. What we have to do is to prove to people that this works. We have to prove to the Environmental Protection Agency, the State Water Resources Control Board, that this system is as good or better than the current systems. So if this technology pans out, it will greatly reduce the amount of energy we use. It will also um, decrease the amount of solids that we have to haul off at the end of the treatment process. Sustainability, resource recovery, climate change, all those factors um, give us the impetus as an industry, I think, to, to look for other alternative means of treating the wastewater to a high level. I think this technology, as well as others, can really help us in that direction. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.